Hi guys, welcome to this episode of Buster's Book Reviews. It's been raining all day, so I had to do it inside. And um, today we're going to do uh, something I've never done before. It's a direct sequel to uh, the previous book that I did. In the last episode, we did Deeper Than the Dead by Tammy Hope. Well, this one is called Secrets to the Grave, and it takes place... Uh, a few months or a year or something like that after the f after uh, the last one. It's got a bunch of all the same characters in it, and uh, 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 it starts out that you got this woman who'd been murdered, and uh, 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 murdered. She's laying on the on the floor, and a friend finds her. And uh, her little girl nearly got strangled to death too. So whoever did it tried to kill the little girl too, and she gets taken to the hospital. Well, when Mendez gets there, Detective uh, Tony Mendez, uh, to know all these characters. You probably need to watch Volume 17. But Tony gets there. It's a horrible, mutilated mess. There's blood everywhere. It smells horrible. It's been like two days. Uh, she's been stabbed like 40 something times. Her boobs were cut off, and she had a knife. Well, let's just say the less said about where the knife was, the better. Uh, but uh, it's just a really gory scene. Uh, the girl was an artist, and uh, they're trying to figure out, like, uh, uh, trying to figure out who did it. But uh, at this point, Vince, Vince Leon, the FBI guy from the other book, he does settle down. He's like uh, retired, basically. He does like advisory work with the police and everything and he's going to help them work the case. Him and Ann, the school teacher from the first one, they're married now. And they want to start a family and everything and uh, she quit being a teacher. She went back and uh, got a little more of her psychology stuff done and she's a child advocate with the court system. Well, and she's trying to help Dennis who's the crazy kid from the other book and uh, that's just a little side story you got in it. But the main story is about this artist that's been murdered and totally mutilated. They know they've only got one witness, and that's the little girl. And so, Anne, even though Vince don't like this, he doesn't want her getting involved in everything, because she got attacked by the dentist and everything. Oh, and she nearly gets killed like two more times in this, too, I'll go ahead and tell you. The poor girl can't stop getting nearly getting killed. So, I expect if she's in another book, she should nearly die at least five times by the end of the freaking book. But, um, uh, they take the little girl, her name's Haley, and, uh, they take her in, and she's, of course, she wakes up, she's having, like, post-traumatic stress stuff, and she's crying because she wants her mama, but her mama's dead and everything, and she wants her kitties, she had a lot of kitties, but they think that if they can go inside her mind and they can help her remember that she can identify who the killer was, and eventually she starts having nightmares. She keeps talking about bad daddy, bad daddy. But they don't know who the heck this girl's daddy is. And uh, uh, she, she, this girl had a lot of boyfriends. She went out with a lot of guys. So they're having to go through all the different people, that, uh, including some from uh, one from the other book, the lawyer, Steve Morgan, uh, who's having trouble with his wife still. And uh, you got Mendez and Hicks and uh, uh, Dixon, the sheriff, and... Vince and uh, a couple of other detectives, these all, they're all going through trying to figure out what happened to, happened to the woman. There's also this girl who, uh, who is her best friend, Gina. When she sees the pictures of what happened to her, she starts puking in the floor, which is pretty horrible and tra traumatizing for her. But uh, then one night she goes out and we don't know what happened. Next thing you know, she's, got, she's tied up and with this... Uh, and this guy's got a gun to her. She tries to run away. She gets her face smashed. And he puts her up against this like cellar well like thing. It's like a place where people dump garbage you know. And uh, he shoots her and she falls down the well. You know this ain't an ep episode of Lassie. Lassie ain't coming to tell Timmy somebody fell down the well. But um. Uh, she, she's down in there. She's still alive. She's shot. She's got a horribly broken leg. It's like twisted all the way around, you know. And she's got to survive by eating like dirty food and old stuff and drinking dirty stuff. And she, somehow she's got to climb like 20-something feet to get out of there. And you don't know how she's going to do it or if she's going to do it. 
But all this time that's going on, they're investigating a lot of people, including the neighbor who, uh, uh, he's kind of a weird fella. He's got, I think, he, they say he's high-functioning autistic. He's like a mathematical genius. So basically he has Asperger's syndrome, and you know Chris knows a lot about that. So he kind of sympathized with this character some. But, uh, you got so many different suspects, and you've got the story, uh, side story of, of, uh, Anne getting more and more attached to this little girl and taking care of her and trying to see if she can pin down who the killer is, and, uh, it's just one big mystery that unravels all through it. Um, it, this, this was a pretty good book. I think I have to say, I think I enjoyed Deeper Than the Dead better a little bit, but this one was really good too. I gave Deeper Than the Dead five stars. I think I'll give, di I gotta give this one four stars. It was pretty good, but not as good as Deeper Than the Dead. There's a third one in this series, I think, called Down the Darkest Road, and I'll read it. I don't think I'm gonna read it next. We'll take a little break from crime thrillers and try to read a little something else. But, um, that's pretty much, I, I, I recommend this book, but read the first one first, Deeper Than the Dead. You don't want to read them out of order, or you'll be all confused. Uh, like I am most of the time. But, uh, uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. And, uh, uh, the, uh, not a whole lot more to tell. But, uh, if you like this video, subscribe to, uh, like it, subscribe to Chris's channel, follow him on at Chris Snyder 83 and we're here on volume 18 and I'll see you for volume 19 one of these days. And that'll do it for this video and as I always say, as Chris always says, and I say happy reading. <laughs>